Hey guys, welcome to the Sack Ride. Hope you're doing good. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about few tips uh, if you are someone who has just started out with music production or just passed out of a music production school. Um, let's dive right into it. If this is your first time on the channel, I'd recommend you subscribe and click on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I put out a new video. Unlike other industries, uh, music scene does not have an organized system where um, you will find a lot of job offerings and people calling you out for job interviews and all of that. So uh, most of the times uh, you will be left on your own to start something uh, from scratch just like a self owned business uh, and that journey is not always easy and there are a lot of hurdles so the tips that I'm going to give you uh, might kind of make that whole process a little easier the best way to create a portfolio for yourself is by uh, collaborating with other artists uh, there are so many artists out there who have written songs and uh, they will be looking out for someone who would help them to produce their songs so uh, maybe you can get in touch with someone like that uh, who is who, who can who coincides with your musical inclinations and maybe you can do something together. So the best way to find artists like this is uh, to attend gigs and this this works more effectively than um, using Facebook. Of course Facebook helps but then attending someone gigs and getting in touch with someone at a show is I think it's always better. So. Um, you can offer them your services preferably for free to start out with and then during this time when you've collaborated with an artist give your best implement everything that you've learned experiment make mistakes and correct them and all that and come up with a good sounding product that you can share another another advantage of collaborating with another artist is that uh, there assuming that the other artist also has an audience uh, your work also will be exposed to the other other side as well. During this whole process of collaborating with different artists, producing and all of that, you will not only create a catalog of songs and portfolio for yourself, you will also have a lot of things to learn which you might not have learned in your music production course. So that knowledge is literally priceless. So once you've built a portfolio, a set of songs that you can showcase, um, this is the point when you can start charging for your services. How much to charge, what to charge, uh, I think I'll leave that for some other time. Once you've uh, uh, made an impressive portfolio of your productions, uh, pitch it out to other artists and producers. Every artist and every producer as they, as they grow big into the field, the workflow always increases. The people who want to work with them also increase and there are many different levels of people who would want to work with them. So the, which is the reason why uh, many producers would want someone to assist them. Uh, they, they will be looking out for someone who is new with new ideas, young, uh, smart enough to learn and adapt. You will have to pitch your work to a lot of artists and producers and if they think your style of work or your work is impressive enough um, you might actually start assisting them and initially and start working with them so what's the advantage of working with someone bigger than you is that um, you will definitely get to learn a lot of things and also you will also get to uh, work with uh, more experienced and more recognized artists which you might not have access to otherwise. So that definitely is going to take you up as a music producer in your career. And the third thing is um, to upgrade and learn. So music technology and music is evolving every day. The, there, are, there are new things, new gadgets coming up, new types of music coming up. Um, it's very interesting and also uh, you. this also requires you to keep on learning and upgrading every day and then keep reading articles see what's happening out there and uh, in my opinion uh, keep your focus and priority on mastering your craft and achieving excellence in what you do rather than fame and money i hope these points have helped you um, if you have anything to ask me you can uh, connect with me on instagram and also again don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon i'll see you on the next video